I bet you've heard about the TV show SpongeBob SquarePants. You know the show about a talking sponge, SpongeBob, who goes on adventures with his dumb starfish friend Pat named Patrick and the always unlucky Squidward. There's Mr. Krabs, the money grabber, and the scientist slash karate master, squirrel named Sandy. Everybody knows about the show and how popular it is, but they don't know the truth behind it. SpongeBob and his friends are actually the ghosts of humans that forcefully had to take over the bodies of sea creatures to survive. All of them have visions of the buildings and structures from their previous lives. I will now explain the backstory of the five main characters I talked about earlier. SpongeBob was originally a kid named Bob. Bob was a nice kid, always helping others and always trying to stay out of trouble, but often he did get in trouble, taking the rap for what other kids did, and often accidentally tripping someone when trying to help them. One day in 1920, while riding his bike, he accidentally went down a steep hill and fell off, putting him in a coma. After two weeks, he eventually died and had a proper funeral. In his sea creature counterpart, he is still very nice and still gets in trouble. Patrick, in his past life, was named John. John was a couple of years younger than Spongebob, and they were very close friends. They lived in the same neighbourhood and often played together. In 1918, he was hit in the head very hard, giving him brain damage and an occasional inability to think. Then, for the last, for his last five years, he was always getting into extreme trouble, often hurting people, and was friendlyless to everyone except for Bob. Then. In 1923, he was having a moment of stupidity and climbed onto a roof, tripped and fell off the roof, cracking his head and eventually killing him. In his sea creature counterpart, he still acts dumb and is only friends with Spongebob. Squidward's human name was Dan. Dan was a sore thumb, never playing with the other kids. He was always lonely, with no friends except for his clarinet and teddy bear, Zippy. Dan had a severe heart condition that would eventually lead to his end. His heart was so weak that if something surprising happened, if he got startled, he would have a heart attack. One night in 1930, he had a dream where Zippy was murdering him. This scared him so much that he woke up with a severe heart attack, which killed him. In his sea creature counterpart, he still gets scared often and is only friends with, with his clarinet. Jim was the name of Mr. Krabs' human counterpart. Jim was from a wealthy family. Despite his family fortune, he was a money grabber and pickpocket often taking people's money and running off with it. He was always behind the rest of the family, having a mild mental condition. He really loved piggy banks and cash registers, and owned a pet whale in a large fish tank. Because of these issues and oddities, he was laughed at by his whole family. His family had a big vault where they stashed all the money, and one day, in 1953, when Jim was inside it, jumping for joy because his family gained one billion dollars, three huge bags of money toppled from a high shelf in the vault 
and crushed him to death. And his steed creature counterpart, he stole Hog's money, has a whale daughter named Pearl, being his whale pet. Sandy's human counterpart was named Sally. Sally was a teacher's pet. She was always winning the science fairs and often got all A stars. Due to her intelligence, kids would come to her at recess and ask her to fix their math problems. Sally was a black belt in karate, often beating all her students. She would also make many custom fireworks at the country club, which gained her major popularity. Sally was on top of the world. In karate one day in 1969, Sally was fighting a master. She was doing well until she got kicked extremely hard in the chest, breaking her ribs, making her unable to breathe. This eventually killed her, even though she isn't a sea creature. In her squirrel form, she was able to build her tree dome and be a karate and science master. There are many other sea creatures who contain the souls of dead children. They yearn to see their families again and long for their previous lives. Maybe one day, when the fish forms die, their mournful souls will take over a new baby of their previous mother. If they cannot, however, they'll be trapped in a fish body forever roaming alone across the seven seas.